Hello, this is Rynek and today we're going to talk about the Second World War and some of the relating dates that have happened within the coronavirus pandemic or pandemic. And this is Black Caps, which I'm going to introduce here because she's going to be one of our, she could either be seen as a little soldier or one of the children that were evacuated during the Second World War because they were evacuated not only in Germany, but also in the UK too. So the significance of the 10th of May when Boris Johnson gave his pre-recorded speech and then had to clarify on the 11th of May what they meant by us coming out of the lockdown. Well, on the 10th of May 1940, the Brits made Winston Churchill their prime minister. And that is also when Belgium and Holland were invaded. On the 10th of May 1941, Hess ordered the bombing of the House of Commons. So we can see how important it is that a pillar of democracy is still standing, which mostly revolves around the law. And the House of Commons tried to <laughs> fit that into some of their policies. On the 6th of May, 1945, at the end of the war, Germany was surrounded. And between the 6th and 7th, an instrument of surrender was signed at 2.41 a.m. And that showed that the brutal war in Europe was over. And we need to remember today that cruelty of war is not necessary. There are many other things that happened. Many bombings of Germany and mostly East Germany and bombings of Liverpool and London are very memorable. So now we're gonna have a look at a few facts. The British government tried to ban Londoners from sheltering in the underground stations during the raids. So to get around this with a little bit of Cockney initiative, they bought platform tickets, although the trains were not running at all, just so they could hide in the underground stations. Lighting a cigarette in the blackout was illegal because it was seen as a night light and they could see them and potentially bomb them. Cattle were painted with stripes during the blackout so that the farmers could see them. During the war, pillar boxes were painted green or yellow to show if deadly mustard gas had been dropped. So the droplets of the deadly mustard gas would stain it and they'd be able to tell whether it had been dropped or not. Some children had never seen a banana at the end of the Second World War and didn't know what to do with them when they had came to eating the bananas. Mussolini was fat like Hardy from Lauren Hardy and they took the mick out of him when he was wearing suits so he ended up wearing um, military uniform instead. Prison sentences were given to some people if they were late for work during war, work sorry late for work during the Second World War. Khaki toilet rolls were used for camouflage during the Second World War so they had to literally cover everything in camouflage. The enemy might be disguised as a nun or a vicar carrying a baby. And the British troops were not given enough PPE or parachutes during the war. US soldiers were given two, but the UK soldiers thought they'd take up too much room if they had more than one parachute. The Second World War was a young person's war and British soldiers in the UK and US could be as young as 18 years old and anyone in the British Army was called dad if they were over that age. Some of the, the, the dad's army were was old as 80 years old. And during the war, there were evacuees of children on both sides, both in Germany and in the UK. 
So the German evacuees were evacuated from bombed cities and sent to camps run by local Nazi teachers and old soldiers. And it was very tough and could, would have been very painful for them. And most of them were, were labelled Nazi youth. And British children and teenagers were evacuated to private houses, some very posh, in the countryside during the Second World War. My grandmother, she was evacuated to Leicestershire and it's probably one of the reasons why she can knit and she could make her own clothes so well because of the factories and the talent around here for knitting and making clothes. But some of the city children were very rough indeed and had to get used to their new surroundings. There were special youth concentration camps set up in Germany and uh, conscientious objectors like Jehovah's Witnesses were hanged or anyone that spoke out about Hitler and the fascism that was going on. Have you got anything to say about that Rosalind? What did you think? Would you have liked to be part of the war? Mm, no. It would have been an interesting thing. Yeah. I think very lively for some people. There was not a simple matter of good allies against evil Nazis. Some communists were brutal and, and existentialists and some UK soldiers, US soldiers would have committed as many crimes. War makes people into bullies. During the war, soldiers were advised to survive on maggots and grasshoppers bodies. Not grasshoppers, wings or legs, no, but to pick them off and just eat the, the bodies. But they were advised not to eat caterpillars. There was bombing of Hamburg, Dresden and Leipzig. And as we say, there was brutality from both sides. One of the interesting things was on 28th of April, Mussolini was hanged by his heels and Hitler did not want to go the same way at all. He's thought to have um, committed his dog and himself and his new wife Eva uh, put them to death but I'm not quite sure if that was true. He may have actually survived and they were just pretended he was. He was killed by himself so that uh, people wouldn't carry him through the streets. There's always secrets and codes and other things going on during the war. But hopefully you enjoyed those facts today. What would you like to say about that, Rosalind? It's very good. It's very good. One interesting thing. One more thing. Churchill was a Druid. He was from the ancient order of Druids. And that was one of the pieces of information I found out recently. And the NHS was set up after the Second World War. Before that, all the money towards illness for the poor came from the charitable organisations like the Druids and other organisations that are around today. Thanks for listening. This is Black Caps. Hopefully you've learned something about the 10th of May. Yes. Yes. And how important that was and why we've been celebrating VE Day this year. Thanks for, for listening and goodbye from us. Bye-bye.